Welcome to the Fray Flack Pack. It's Termex here, and welcome back to another Borderlands 4 video. I mean, Borderlands 3 video. We just got another update, and today we're going to be talking about the new Mayhem 2.0 update. Not really going to talk much about the new Cartels update event going on, but I want to talk about the Mayhem 2.0 update. I want to talk about my opinion, what I think about it, and how it's going to affect the game, and how I'm enjoying it so far. But before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like on it, because it helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you're new here. I post at least once to two times a week if I'm busy. It's probably only going to be once a week, but I try my best to get these videos out. But a lot of people seem to enjoy my more independent videos, letting you guys know what I think about the update. Now, to start off, the update, I believe, is really good. I believe the update is really good. All the bug fixes are nice, everything they fix for Flak, the buffs to Moe's, all of that stuff I am completely fine with. I think it's more than awesome that they're finally addressing these sort of things. But there's something that is not so awesome, and I kind of complained about this when I first started my channel, and that's going to be the modifiers in Mayhem 2.0. Why am I complaining about these? Well, I've said this many times, and I always think Borderlands is not meant to have random modifiers that affect your game and the reason behind this is when I play Borderlands and I make a build I don't want my build to be affected based on the random drop rolls that I get in if you know that there's gonna be rolls that players don't like why did you even make it a feature in the first place I, I know it, it sounds dumb to say that but it makes sense if you think about it like if you know there's gonna be rolls players don't like then what's the point of even adding the feature in in the first place now, I know this video is probably going to be my most disliked video for some reason, but I'm not afraid to share my opinion. I'm always going to give my opinion on this game because I love the game and I care about where the future of it is going to go. And while we're on the topic of the future of things, the mini events are amazing. I love what they're doing with the mini events. The cartels is fun. It's unique. And I love how it operates. It's a lot better than the uh, Valentine's Day event, but I still like it just as much. Keep going with the events. They're freaking awesome. But on to Mayhem Balancing. Mayhem Balancing, I'm starting to get the OP8 vibes from Borderlands 2, and that's not really what I like. It's almost worse than OP8 for Borderlands 2, because, first of all, our class mods did not scale with this update. Relics did not scale with this update. And it's kind of annoying. The only thing that really scaled is guns. And I guess you could argue the fact that guns are the most important, but with the Mayhem levels in Borderlands 2, all your gear scaled based on your Mayhem level. And with this, it's not like that, and I don't know why. It might be a bug, it might be something they're adding in the future. But back onto the main topic of this video, I want to talk about the modifiers. I am, I'm not a big fan of the modifiers. I'm personally not my favorite thing in the world, not something I really support, because it adds RNG-based comment to a game that already relies on RNG for you to get better gear. And then it just becomes monotonous at that point. Because once I get a build together, I want to make sure my build's good. I already went through the RNG of farming the build. I went through the RNG of getting the gear, getting the anointments I need, and finding the right elements I need. Now, I have my build, I don't want to go through the RNG of, oh, these guys have this mayhem modifier and these guys have this mayhem modifier, so I have to change my build up completely again. You know, I guess it's a little tedious thing, or maybe I'm just a boomer that's comparing to old Borderlands games. But I just personally believe that the modifiers don't really fit in with Endgame. Especially some things that happen, you know, when the floor is lava. What is this shit? We don't talk about it, okay? But regardless, I'm still going to be playing Borderlands 3. I'm still going to be playing the update. I'm still going to be making builds for you guys. And you're kind of seeing a little sneak peek of one of the builds coming out in the background for you guys to see that. But I just want you guys to know, I'm fully supportive of Borderlands, I love the game, and this isn't bashing on them in any way, it's just giving my opinion on what I think about the new Mayhem 2.0 update, and what I think the future of it's going to have. I, I believe the modifiers shouldn't be a thing, I, I enjoy the Mayhem 1 to 10, but get rid of the modifiers, the modifiers are not fun, they're fun to an extent, but when you're trying to get serious builds and you're trying to do speed runs, they get very, very annoying. And some of them are just plain out non-counterable. There's some modifiers that just make enemies immune for 10 seconds. And that's the kind of stuff that I don't really like to see in a Borderlands game. Now I know thousands of people are going to disagree with me and say different things. But that's just my opinion. But I'm still having fun with it. I'm glad Gearbox added new content for us to play. But at the same time, the love still comes with some punishments. 
as you just saw right there, I ran out of ammo. But it comes with some downfalls, and as long as I fix these downfalls eventually, or they leave it the way it is, I'm still going to play. I hope you guys are enjoying the new update, I hope you guys are having fun with it. Keep on grinding, keep on farming, and yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new, and let me know your guys' opinion in the comments, please. Let me know your guys' opinions on Mayhem 2.0. And I'll talk to you guys as much as I can down there. I want to see what all you guys think. But anyway, hope you guys have a terrific day. And I'll see you guys later.